Good morning, guys. We are uh, up here about 10,000 feet in Colorado. We're in this really tiny creek, and it feeds into a larger lake. We've got some grayling in here, which are really cool species to catch. You know, they got that big dorsal fin and spots and all that kind of stuff. They're fun fish to go chase with any tackle, but I really like the Tenkara because I can really put everything that I need in a pocket. We're gonna set up a Tenkara rod here today, try to catch some grayling. This rod is 3.2 ounces. It's light enough to carry anywhere with you, and it's really effective for a lot of kinds of fishing, whether you're with a young kid on a pond somewhere in a park, or if you're up here high up in the mountains on horseback or hiking, it'll take you anywhere and it'll catch fish. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to set this thing up. Um, it's very basic. It's a rod, a line, and a fly. There's not much to it. Got my wet fly fly box loaded with all kinds of different flies that we're gonna use today. And in my pocket, I've got this leader. It's a floating, clear, 10 car line. This one's 12 feet long, and we're gonna attach to that a piece of tippet in our flies. It's really very simple. Okay, so what I have here is a little transition loop, and all this is that I've used is a piece of backing 30 pound backing that I'm gonna tie onto here with what's called a loop to loop. So, th so this transition loop is just a really pliable piece of cord. It's strong cord, but what it does is it attaches to the Lillian of the Tenkara rod and it keeps it from coming loose. It keeps it from loosening itself as you're fishing. This will give a really good snug connection for everything. When I open up the rod, I just pull the stopper out and I store that in my pocket. And here's my Lillian cord. And when I put this on, I really want to be careful to hold it inside the rod and not pull that out any further than I need to. That'll help protect everything. This is called a girth hitch. It's gonna go like that, make a little loop there, go over this knot, the knot in my Lillian, Pull that through, protecting the tip of the rod, and right there, that's my connection to the leader. As I extend this out, I just want to be careful, do one piece at a time, all the way out to the end of your rod, pulling snug but not too snug, you don't have to muscle these in, and once it's done, you're ready to tie on your flies. Okay, at the end of this leader, there's a little perfection loop, and that's what I'm gonna tie all my tippet onto, and then the flies to that. I'm gonna use just some really light stuff. I'm gonna go with 4X to the point fly, or to the, to the floating fly, we'll call it. So I'm just gonna tie a little 4X on here with a uh, clinch knot. Really simple way to attach this to the loop. And this is where my floating fly is gonna go. So I'm gonna tie my floating fly on here. Got a little parachute atoms right onto this 4X tippet. I can use 5X here. 4X was just easier to grab. Nothing in here is really difficult. It's all just all about simplicity. Keep it simple, Steve. The whole thing about Tenkara is just keep it simple, Steve. Kiss, that's the rule, you've heard it before. Behind this fly, I'm going to roll a little 6X out. And drop a little nymph from that. Run around the bend of the hook. For a nymph fly, I'm just going to use a little tiny copper john. Popular fly works just about everywhere, mimics a lot of nymphal activity. It's a good attractor pattern and these grayling like anything that's flashy. But again, keep it simple, Steve. So there's my setup. Got my Copper John, got about 20 inches of 6X, 
to a little parachute atoms, to another two or three feet of 4X going to my leader, where it's actually a 10 car line, but it's the same kind of thing. You can use a shoelace, it's just simple stuff.